Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Young Muslim Talent in America with your host Salma Mohammed. Young Muslim Talent in America is a production of Al Hikmat Services. It covers the talent of Muslim kids all over America. On my show today, we have Brother Michael Shah, a student, a Hibzil student from Dar al Ulum Weekend Hib School, and also a high school student of Nova High School, Davie, Florida. Mike. Can you tell me a few things about yourself? Uh, Salma, I'm 15 years old mm -hmm. and I live in Davie mm -hmm. and right now uh, I'm going into 10th grade. 10th grade. Okay, so what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Uh, my favorite thing to do right now is to swim. I've been swimming since I was 3 years old. And, Interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, I swim for plantation. Uh, I also like to go outside and just play basketball, fish, play football. That's cool, that's cool. So tell me what's your family background like? Uh, my mom is a convert for about five years. She's been Muslim. Mm -hmm. And she, her name is Karen Shah from U.S. And my dad is Wayne Shah from Trinidad. I see. So um, I heard that you're a student from the Hibzul Quran Quran yeah. Weekend School at Dar al So how does that work into your busy schedule since you like to swim and you're also going to 10th grade? Uh, it works very well into my schedule because it's on weekends starting Friday to mm -hmm. Sunday and uh, since I can, it doesn't interfere with swimming at all since I swim every six days a week. And what are the hours like for swimming? Swimming, uh, it's from either 5 to 7 o'clock at night mm -hmm. or since in the summer right now it's from 7.30 to 10. Interesting. So tell me the things that, like what have you done so far in the Hibs, in the Hibs of Quran weekend school? Right now, I am about to finish the 30th juice. Inshallah, that's very good to hear. So what are you going to do for us on the show today? Right now, I'm going to recite uh, part of Surah Mutafifin. Okay, let's have it. <laughs> Alladhina idha ktalu a'la al-nasi yastawfoon Wa idha kaluhum aw wazanuhum yakhsiroon Ala yadhunnu ulaika annahum mab'uthoon Liyawmin a'zim Yawma yaqumu al-nasu li rabbi al-alameen Kalla inna kitab al-fujjari la fi sijjin Wa ma adraka ma sijjin Kitabun marqum Wailu yawma idhil lil mukathibin Alladhina yukathibun bi yawmiddin Wa ma yukathibu bihi illa kullu mu'tadin athim إذا تتلى عليه آياتنا قال أساطير الأولين كلا بل ران على قلوبهم ما كانوا يكسبون كلا إنهم عن ربهم يومئذ لمحجبون ثم إنهم لصال الجهيم ثُمَّ يُقَالُ هَذَا الَّذِي كُنْتُمْ بِهِ تُكَذِّبُونَ صَدَقُ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ MashaAllah Michael, that was very beautiful. So how long it took you to memorize these surahs? Uh, it started in September, mm -hmm. but uh, sometimes I would have things to do on the weekends, like swim meets or going out of town, so right now about nine months. I see, I see. So before you go today, I want to ask you, what would you like to be when you grow up? Uh, inshallah, when I grow up, I would like to become a doctor. I don't know which one, uh, type of doctor yet, but something in the medical field. Well, Michael, I wish you all the best in the future, inshallah. And it was indeed a pleasure having you on the show today. I hope for you to join us some other time, inshallah. Inshallah. So, well, this is the first segment of Young Muslim Talent in America. Stay tuned and we'll be right back with the sister of Michael Shah, Sarah Shah after the short break. Welcome to Toyota of Hollywood. No matter what your new car needs are, it's our goal to make every step of your ownership experience as easy as possible. Let our professional trained sales staff help you find the right car at the right price. Discover an easy ownership experience at Toyota of Hollywood today. We're conveniently located at 1841 North 60th Avenue in Hollywood, Florida. 
Healthy Eat Halal at Ashraf's Halal Meat Center for all your East and West Indian grocery for genuine halal USDA meat. Stop in or call in your orders at 305-654-0195. That's 305-654-0195. Welcome back to Young Muslim Talent in America. With my next guest on the show today, Sarah Shah, the sister of my previous guest, Michael Shah. Can you tell me a few things about yourself, Sarah? I'm 13, I'm in eighth grade, and I'm from Davie, Florida. Okay, and uh, what do you like to do? Swimming. Swimming, just like your brother. So tell me a little bit about your accomplishments in swimming. In 2006, I was in top 16, I was ranked fourth. Mm -hmm. I was in Junior Olympics since I was nine and um, I got Most Dedicated Award, Best Stroke. That's good to hear. So what about, what school do you go to? Indian Ridge Middle School. What grade are you in? I'm going into eighth grade. Going into eighth grade, I see. And what are your accomplishments in school? I've always gotten Honor Roll mm -hmm. and Presidential Award. So I know you as a student from the Sunday Madrasa. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I like going because my friends are there and I have a good teacher. So are you in Quran or Qaeda? Quran. And how long? Memorizing or reading? Memorizing. I see. And how long has it been now? Um, I started a few years ago. Oh, okay, okay. So what do you have for us on the show today? I'm going to be reading the verse of chapter 17, Sarah Isra, The Night Journey. It talks about how the Prophet wasallam, went went from Mecca to Masjid al-Aqsa to Jannah. Glory to Allah who did take his servant for a journey by night from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque, who, who precincts we did bless in order that we might show him some of our signs, for he is the one who heareth and seeth all things. And I'm going to read about a message about the fast of Ramadan. Okay. When to begin the fast of Ramadan. The fast is to begin the day following the appearance of the new moon for the month of Ramadan. If it is confirmed that the moon has been sighted in any part of the world, a Muslim should begin his fast on, the, on dawn the following day. The Muslim must make his formal intention of Saum before dawn. He may make the intention for the whole month of Ramadan, or he may make the intention to fast one day at a time. However, if he chooses the latter, he must remember to renew his intention every night for the next day's fast. When making the intention to fast for the whole month of Ramadan, a person must declare in his mind. If a person's fast is interrupted for some days due to illness, menstruation, travel, or other reasons, he or she must renew the in intention before resuming the fast. It is recommended for a Muslim to say suhoor, a pre-dawn meal. To eat this meal in the sunnah of Rasulullah and it is intended to reduce the hardship of saum during the day. However, if due to oversleeping or any other cause, a person finds it that it's already dawn, or if he is not certain whether dawn has come, he should refrain from eating or drinking. It is safest to awake early enough to eat and finish the meal about 20 minutes before dawn, since eating after dawn would nullify the day's fast. As soon as the sun has set, the Muslim should break his fast with iftar. If the iftar is light, for example, a few dates or fruit and water, one may have it before offering the Maghrib sunset salah. However, if one is having a heavy iftar, one should offer the Maghrib Salah first to avoid missing its proper time. Wow, that was a beautiful message for our viewers there about the month of Ramadan, which will be approaching us soon, inshallah. But before you go today, I would like to ask you, what would you like to be when you grow up? I really don't know yet. So. You haven't decided? No. Well, inshallah, whatever, you, whatever goal you set out to accomplish, I wish you, wish you all the best in the future, inshallah. It was indeed a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you very much. And we will be right back with our next guest, Fiaz Razak, a present student of the Hibzil Quran Weekend School at Daralum Institute. So stay tuned and we'll be right back after a short break. Are you tired of calling cards? Are you fed up of those long PIN numbers? Then use Sensible, international direct calling for Sense only. For more details, contact the Al-Hikmat office at 954-986-0158. That's 954-986-0158. Estine Caribbean Market, East and West Indian Grocery for all your halal meats, fish, and vegetables. Call to place your order at 954-961-6160. That's 954-961-6160. 
If you would like to advertise your business on Al Hikmat TV online 24 7, Al Hikmat website, and Al Hikmat monthly Muslim magazine, please contact the Al Hikmat office at 954 986 0158. That's 954-986-0158. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Tune in to Who's Who in America and in your community. Hosted by Sister Naima Khan Ghani with extraordinary guests every Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. on www.alhikmatlive.com. Tune in for Friday Khutbah at 1.30 p.m. Broadcasting live from Daral Ulum Institute, Pembroke Pines, Florida, on Al Hikmah TV Online. Jashne Amade Rasul Allahi Allah Tune in to Young Muslim Talent in America, hosted by Salma Muhammad with talented kids from all over America, every Saturday night at 8.30 p.m. on www.alhikmatlive.com Allahi Allah Jashne Amade Rasul Allahi Allah Thinking of doing Sadaqa Jariah for your near and dear ones? We recommend you to sponsor The Origin of True Islam brochure, The Genealogy of Prophets, or the Surahs and Zikr to be recited daily as Sadaqa Jariah for your parents who have passed away. Or you could sponsor one of the items for yourself, Fisa Bilala. For more details, contact the Al Hikmat office at 1 800 804 0267. Or 954 986 0158, or email us at alhikmat at alhikmat.com. Welcome back to Young Muslim Talent in America with my next guest for today, Brother Fiaz Razak. Fiaz, can you tell me a few things about yourself? Well, I will, I'm 13 and I was born in Guyana, mm -hmm. and I'm going into eighth grade and I go to Somerset Middle. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your background. Well, my parents were both born in Guyana. Mm -hmm. My mom's name is Alina. My dad's name is Shamir. I have a sister, and I was born in New York. I see. So what do you like to do, um, Fiaz? Well, I play basketball, and in my spare time, pretty much, yeah. You enjoy basketball? Yeah. Are you a good player? I'm pretty good. That's good to hear. So I heard that you're a um, present student of the Hibs of Quran Weekend School at Daralum. How is that for you? It's pretty good. It's a good experience. You learn a lot. So how much have you memorized so far? Over the months I've learned two days. MashaAllah, that's very good to hear. So um, what, are the, like, what do you guys learn during that weekend course? During the weekend course, we pretty much learn how to read, and not that, but etiquette as well. Etiquette as well, that's good to hear. So what are you going to do for us on the show today? Well, today I'm going to read about the first 50 nights. OK. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أما يتساءلون أن النبأ العظيم الذي هم فيه مختلفون كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون ألم نجعل الأرض بهذا والجبال أوتادا وخلقناكم أزواجا وجعلنا نومكم سباتا وجعلنا الليل لباسا وجعلنا النهار معاشا وبنين فوقكم سبعا شدادا وجعلنا سراجا وحاجا وأنزلنا من المعصرات ماعا سجاجا لنخرج بي Mashallah, Masha that was very beautiful, Fiaz. How long it took you to memorize a surah? Well, it took me about like two days to memorize. Wow, that's very good. You're a, I must say you're a very bright boy. So before you go today, what, what would you like to be when you grow up? When I grow up, I would like to be an engineer. An engineer. Wow, that's very nice to hear. Well, Fiaz, it was indeed a pleasure having you on the show today. I hope to have you sometime in the near future again, inshallah. Right? So this is it for today, for Young Muslim Talents in America. Alhamdulillah, I must say that it was a pleasure having the students on our show today. And I wish them all the best in the future, inshallah. Thanks for joining us once more on Young Muslim Talent in America with your host, Salma Mohammed. We hope you enjoy the show. See you next week, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Madina, Madina.